Hi, I'm Jimmy. In this video, I want to walk through some of the ways we can help to set up our kids to be successful investors, starting from the moment they're born or pretty much any age after that. I'm going to go through some of the different account types that are out there that are good for kids. And then I want to take a minute to talk about this video sponsor. That's right. This is just a second company that I've partnered with to do sponsored videos with. This is a company called Early Bird. And what's interesting about the partnership that I have with Early Bird is the way we started in working together. So my sister went to college with one of the guys that work at the company. And one day at a barbecue, she starts telling me about what that company does, what Early Bird does. And I said, oh, wow, you got to put me in touch with that company. Can you give me the guy's email address? So that's what she did. And basically the concept of what Early Bird does is they make it easier to meaningfully gift and invest in the financial future of our kids. So me reaching out to them is actually how the relationship began. And I figured it was sort of a perfect fit considering I love investments and that's what they're doing. They're trying to make that easier and they make it easy for the kids. And I've been looking for good ways to get my kids to start investing and to try to teach them about this at an early age. So I'll explain a bit more about early bird in a minute. But for now, let's jump in and look a little bit closer at how we could go about getting our kids to start investing and how we could get them interested in investing and ideally teach them how to handle money. And I'm hoping that's a way for them to help to help them generate wealth. Now, I'm really looking at this on a personal from a personal perspective because I have two kids. I have a four year old girl and a six year old boy. And believe it or not, I actually didn't grow up learning all that much about investing. I really started learning about investing when I hit about high school, maybe a little bit before that, but certainly not four or six years old. And as many of us know, the earlier we can start investing, the earlier we can get our kids to start investing, well, the more we can get the power of compounding to work for us. But just so we're on the same page as far as how powerful the power of compounding really can be, let's imagine that we invested $1,000 for our kids right now, and then we added 100 bucks a month over the next 30 years. Well, over that time period, we would have invested about $37,000 for our kids. But if we invested that same money, and let's say that money could earn 8% a year, and that's slightly less than the long-term average of the stock market. Let's pretend that, that we could earn 8% a year. Well, that same amount of money, that same invested money would be worth about $160,000. Okay, so I think we can all agree that the longer we invest, the better. That's true for us or for our kids. So let's just assume that we want to start investing as soon as possible for our kids, and we want to have them do it for as long as possible. And if we are fortunate enough to be in a position to invest for them, let's pretend we could start it right now or the moment that they're born, whenever that happens. Okay, so now let's look at some investment accounts that are good for kids and what the different ones do. And then I'm going to touch on some things that I'm doing with my kids that uh, I find to be pretty useful from a getting them to participate in their journey of investing. Okay, so one of the more popular investment accounts for kids is called the 529 plan. And basically, the 529 plan is a tax advantage plan that we use for our kids. And it allows that money to grow tax free as long as that money is used for school. So that could be college or maybe uh, kindergarten through 12th grade. And it can even be used for some school expenses, maybe a school computer or books or things like that. So if we believe that our kid is going to go to college and if we expect, or perhaps we have some expenses now, if they're already in school, well, this could be a very good investment account to use. Now, every state has their own 529 plan. And depending on the state that where we live, or depending on the place, the location of the school, so if you have an idea of the school that they want to go to, that depends on which, uh, that would change which 529 plan is the best plan to invest in. Now, I should mention, you don't have to live in the state to invest in that 529 plan. You can live in New York and invest in the Florida or New Jersey or California 529 plan. So it doesn't really matter. So if you have an idea of where your kid might go to school, or perhaps there's some tax advantage for using a local one, it really depends on where you live. But either way, 529 plan could be a great investment opportunity for our kids. Another investment account option for kids is the custodial IRA account. And yes, IRA is short for individual retirement account. So essentially, we could set up this account for our kids, and the only difference is now they get that money when they retire. Hopefully, at some point, they start contributing contributing to it as well. But even if they don't, if hypothetically this very same chart that we looked at a moment ago 
was invested for 60 years, well, now that same money would be worth $1.9 million when they retire. Now, personally, I'm not really sure 60 years really makes a lot of sense. I probably wouldn't consider opening a custodial IRA unless my kid was a bit older. Maybe if they were in high school and they were, maybe they already had a job and I could convince them to, uh, maybe I would match it with them or something like that for at least a little while until they could take over it themselves. So maybe it's not 60 years, maybe it's just 45 years. Either way, compound interest is our friend. Okay, now we move over to the more traditional custodial account. And basically this is where an adult opens an account on behalf of a kid. So for me, I open an account, I open a custodial account on behalf of my son and my daughter, two different accounts, and I invest for now until they get old, until they become old enough. Once they're old enough, they take over. And this is where early bird comes in. And basically what early bird has done is that they've simplified the process of setting up a custodial account for kids. And they make it very easy to set up. Uh, you do an initial deposit. That's what I did for my son. Do an initial deposit, set up recurring uh, deposits into their account, and it automatically invests it for us. So they make the process of setting it up very simple. Now, what's really cool about what Early Bird does, I think what makes them a bit unique versus just setting up an account somewhere else, is that they make it super simple for family members, friends, uh, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whomever it is, to gift investments to our kids. So instead of giving a check or giving some toy to the kid, well, in theory, what they could do is they could give our kid an investment into their account. They, it's super easy through the app. You gotta see it, you gotta download it. Obviously, I like Early Bird a lot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be working with them. I would not have partnered with them unless I really like what they do. I have a link in the description below to go ahead, download that app. Now, like I mentioned, I already set up an account for my son and Basically, I got to go through the process of setting up. I did an initial deposit, and now I'm doing automatic uh, deposits every month directly into his account. I haven't set up one for my daughter yet. She's the four-year-old, and I plan on doing that very soon, but what I was thinking is I could record that and sort of show everybody how I did it and how the process worked and really show you the reason why I like Early Bird. Okay, so account types aside, one thing that I'm doing for my kids, I'm actually doing two primary things to try to get them investing and try to set them up for a more stable financial future. First, I'm using Early Bird. I'm gonna do probably start at $25 a month for each of them. And then hopefully as I make more money, hopefully down the road, I'll be able to up that. But for now, I figure that's a, at least I can get started, which is a good thing in my mind. Now, the other thing that we're doing, uh, particularly with my son, who's a little bit older, he's six years old, and we're starting to do chores. So basically I have different parts, different tasks that they have to complete. They have to clean different rooms, they have to make their bed, things along those lines. But one of the things that's going to happen is that they're going to get an allowance. The allowance is going to be based on their chores. Now, there's really two groups of chores that we have. We have chores that you have to do because you're part of the family and just go do it. We're not asking, just go do it. And then other chores that you can sort of volunteer for. Not really something you really have to do, but I have them do the chores, but then we give them a few bucks. And basically what, I, what we're doing is if they take some of that money and invest it, so they just give it back to us and then we invest it for them, we will match it. So if they make $5 for doing whatever the chores are for the week or whatever the, whatever the money ends up looking like, they decide to put $2 towards it, we match the $2, goes into the investment account. And the plan or the goal is that this will get them emotionally invested in their contributions to their own financial future without really knowing what they're doing. I'm looking for the habit of investing right now. If we can get them to start instilling the habit in themselves, take a piece of what they make and put it to work, I think that will prove to be very useful over the long run. And early bird makes it simple. That's one of the really one of the reasons I really like using them. And at some point, I want my kids to be able to log in, look at their account and watch it gradually grow and then hopefully get, again, more emotionally attached to their contributions to it. Now, another thing I do want to do at some point is to teach them about the power of compounding and how the stock market works and how the bond market works and try to show them how they can grow their money if they let it go to work, especially over the long run. Now, I've introduced these concepts to my son a couple different times in a couple different ways, trying to get him to at least learn the basics. And he keeps basically asking how fast he can make the money grow. And I'm trying to get his expectations away from the fast money. And I did show him the rule of 72, which is a quick way of calculating how fast you can double your money. 
But again, I'm just trying to keep him away from the fast money, keep him focused on, you just want this to grow. This is not money you access for anything. This is money that you really just put aside. That's one of the advantages of something like early bird and a custodial account. He can't get it now anyways. So I think that that's a really good thing for him to watch that happen. Now, if you are curious to learn more about the rule of 72, I actually recently did a video where I go through how to use it and how I, I do think it's a simple rule that a lot of kids can get. And my, my son loves math, so he was very happy to sit down with the calculator and start playing with the numbers. So if you're curious, perhaps that's a good next video for you to watch. I got a link right here. I got a link in the description below. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget, go over to the link in the description below, download Early Bird, let me know what you think. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.